Many of the patients I see today are women that are coming in 10, 20, sometimes even 30 years after undergoing primary breast augmentation. It's not uncommon for a woman to come in and say, oh my goodness, the initial augmentation was fantastic. And why is it that all these other operations have been anything but fantastic? And in essence, what they're combating with each subsequent operation is one problem piled on another problem piled on another problem. The surgeon is confronted, and this is me, confronted with trying to understand what the patient has been through and trying to better define what their goals are. And it's not unusual for patients to say one thing and mean something completely different. That's where imaging becomes so important. That's a critical step in the whole process of revisional breast surgery, developing a visual representation of where you think it should go and having the patient agree that that is what in fact she wants. Often, this is the third, the fourth, the fifth, sometimes the eighth or ninth operation that the patient's had. So that the stakes, I think, are very high because you really want to get it right. This is where being a very thoughtful surgeon really helps you because you want to look back and take a good history and find out, well, what happened at this operation? When I conduct a consult, it can take an hour and a half. We've got to come to really an understanding of each other so that we can develop a plan that helps them meet their goals. And part of that is determining whether their goals are realistic or not. Sometimes the patients want something that's just not obtainable. And the job of a really good doctor is to help the patient understand what is possible and what isn't possible.